In this video, I am going to show you how to make a Canva presentation interactive. What you have to do is to go to your home page in Canva and look for Pear Deck Presentations. After that, you'll be able to see some of the designs that they have. You can just click on whichever you think is applicable to the presentation you'll need to do. For example, it'll be about the first day of school. So we'll be clicking on this and customize this template. All right. Then after everything has been loaded, go to share. Click more. And then go to save as a Microsoft PowerPoint. All pages, of course, but if you don't like the other pages, then you can just remove them and then click download. Once it has been downloaded, what we need to do now is to go to Google Slides. So we need now to look for that folder. Okay, here it is. Open File Picker, click that. Upload. Click Browse so you can click your downloaded presentation and then open. Wait for it to be uploaded. Okay, so once we are there, as you can see, here it is. It is now a Google Slide presentation. All right, now let's go to Extensions. From there, click on Add ons, Get Add ons. Search apps and search for pair deck for Google Slides add on. It's the first one here. This one. So you can see a pair, of course. Click that. Install. Continue. Choose your account. Continue. And if you trust a pair deck, go and click allow. Done. So you can now see Pear Deck in the extensions part. Okay, once you have installed it, you can also see the Pear Deck here on the side of your presentation. Now that you have uploaded this presentation from Canva in your Google Slides, we'll now be editing these slides. As you can see, at the upper right corner of your slide, in the second one, so you'll see that icon there. That means you need to put a text response here. So let's click that now. And update slide. There you go. So students, write your response there. Now for the third one, as you can see, it's like a drawing or a pen, a pencil, whatever. Just click this one here, as you can see, there's draw. Update slide. And so on and so forth. There you go. So let us now try and see how it will look like on the screen of your student and also your screen as a teacher. Let's see if this is really interactive. Let's start lesson. Click this one. A student paced activity is when you are in an asynchronous class. It means not online and not face to face. But if this is an instructor paced activity, it's when you are having a virtual class or a face to face class at school. So let's click that. Okay, there you go. So I'll be clicking on give students a link since I think that is easier once you've copied it, paste it on whatever communication app you're using with your student. So let's just have Gmail. I'll be sending the link to my account. And 
I'll be acting as my student too. Okay, waiting for students. No students connected. Okay, one student connected. That's me. So let's now start class. There you go. Let's go to the second slide. Hello, I am. Yeah, I'll be answering this question. Melody. Okay, so there is one response. Melody, as you can see there. Oh, that's nice. It's really interactive. Let's go to the third slide. It's this one. Draw something you love. So I'll be drawing. Oh, I can also see some pens here. Different colored pens as well. Highlighter and line. Wow, this is really interactive. Let's now try drawing. I'll be drawing a music note since my name is Melody. So I'm bad at this. Let's see the responses. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. So this is really an interactive presentation. Well, actually, if you would like to use Pear Deck add-on on Google Slides, you need to sign in. And there is a 30-day premium trial for you. And you need also to be a teacher. You also need to be a teacher. And just type in which just type in your postal code and then the school where you are teaching. You can just, I think, make those up so you don't need to worry about your account. That's about it. That's how you can make a Canva presentation interactive. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.